Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Today, Nigerians are angry and people are saying what Omotala did is wicked. Is she on drugs? Because popular Nigerian actress Omotala, who is of Yoruba origin, has trademarked that name Omotola and deprived millions of Nigeria the rights to use this name for business purposes. Omotola is a Yoruba name, which means child is what or child is what more than what. Omotala, as she's fondly called, is unarguably one of the most popular and influential celebrities of modern times. She has over the years carved a niche for herself in not just the entertainment world, but even in the political circle. Trademarking her name is all her projects, including movies, reality TV shows, and even photos are protected legally. It is not clear how much legal work was put into Omotala's trademark. However, in some cases, this means she has automatic rights to use the name alone, preventing others from using it. Ikende is a Nigerian actress, singer, philanthropist, and former model. Since her debut in Hollywood in the year 1995, Omotala Jalade Ikende has appeared in over 300 films, selling millions of video copies as well. Nigerians are seeing the lot as they are reacting to this trademark. Earlier today, Omotala had in a tweet broke the news of trademarking her name Omotala, and some people seem furious with that, hence venting their anger on her. According to some, what she did is wicked for her to trademark the name Omotala, while others ask whether she's on drugs. No one knows the reason why Omotala decided to trademark this name, but it appears not everyone is pleased with that, and it is quite sad that almost all those with that name are going to live in a shadow. As a lot of Yoruba people bear this name, Omotola. A trademark is a type of intellectual property consisting of a recognizable sign, design, or expression which identifies products or services of a particular source from those of others. This actress celebrated her 25 years on screen in the year 2020. This was around May. And she's also one of the most loved thespians we have in Nigeria. However, People are really, really angry with her today as they are dragging her everywhere on social media platforms. Please stay with us for biographical facts of Omotala Jalade Ikende. Omotala Jalade Ikende is a popular Nigerian actress, singer, and philanthropist. She's one of the icons in the Nigerian Hollywood movie industry. Omotala has not only contributed immensely to the Nigerian entertainment industry, she's also known for her humanitarian efforts. She was born on the 7th of February 1978 to Uluwa Shola Jalade and Uluwa Toin Jalade. She's originally from Ondo State but grew up in Lagos State with her family. Her mother Uluwa Toin Jalade worked at JT Chanria Nigeria while her father Uluwa Shola Jalade worked with YMCA and the Lagos County Club. Omatala attended Christian School in Okwebi in Lagos State between the year 1981 and 1987 and finished in Oxford Children's School in 1987. She attended Santos Layout and Command Secondary School in Kaduna for secondary school education. She also studied briefly at the Obafe Melo Awolowo University and finally at Yaba College of Technology in Yaba in Lagos State between the year 1996 to 2004 when she studied estate management. She's currently married to Captain Matthew Akende, a renowned pilot, and they are blessed with four lovely children. As a young girl, she dreamt to study business management and work professionally in a business establishment. Unknowingly, fate had something greater in store for her. While she was waiting for admission into university, she began modeling, so has not to be wasting her time at all, and also to earn a living. It was during one of those days that she accompanied a friend to a movie audition and fortunately got herself a role. She made a debut as an actress in the year 1995 for the movie Venom of Justice, and later most her inheritance. Since then, she has acted in several hit movies, including Blood Sister, Games Women Play, My Story, and so many others. She had her first cinematic movie role in the year 2010. In the film E.G., co-starring with the popular actress Jennifer Venaggi. This movie star is considered as Africa's biggest box office actress and has featured in over 200 movies. She has a reputation of being the first Nigerian celebrity to be featured on Times Magazine alongside Michelle Obama, Kim Kardashian, and other global leaders. In the early 2013, she took her career to another level by debuting in the US television series vh one scripture series, It's the Flow. Motala has been honored as one of the top 100 influential people in Africa for the year by MIPAD in New York City, following the opening of the 73rd UN General Assembly. In the year 2014, she was honored by the Nigerian government as a member of the Order of the Federal Republic, MFRO, for her contribution to the Nigerian entertainment industry and also through her humanitarian services. After three years' hiatus, she returned to the scene by playing a lead role in the 2017 movie Alter Ego 
alongside Wolio Ojo and Jide Ko Soko. In June 2018, this award-winning actress was invited to become a member of the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Science, popularly known as the Oscars. This, in turn, boosts our diversity. These are some of our other works. Venom of Justice, 1995, Mortal Inheritance, 1996, Scores to Settle, Lost Kingdom, Kusurugu, When Love Dies, Under Fire, The Outsider, Rescue, Blood Sisters, Where Family, Die Another Day, A Kiss from Rose, Games Women Play, Brave Hearts, The Revelation, Sand in My Shoes, Careless Soul, Yankee Girls, Temple of Justice, my last ambition, EJ the journey, a private stunt, ties that band, last night to Abuja, Amina hits the floor, blood on the lagoon, Molly inheritance, Alter Higo, the island, the tribunal, and up quick a paddle among others. And of course, she's also a multiple award winning actress. These are some of our awards and recognitions. The best actress English at the movie awards 1997, the best actress overall at the movie awards 1997, the best actress at the City Pop Awards for Excellence 2004, Best Actress and Grand Achiever at Global Excellence Recognition Awards 2004, Best Individual and Symbol of Creativity at CEON 2004, Most Friendly Actress at the Youth Benefactors Awards 2006, Best Actress Africa Collaboration at Ghana Movie Awards 2011, Actress of the Year at Elo Awards 2012, Pan-African Best Actress at Screen Nation Awards 2012, GIAMA Humanitarian Award at, at Golden Icons Academy Movie Awards 2012, Popular Online Choice at Nollywood Movies Awards 2013, Ebony Vanguard Award at Music Video and Screen Awards 2013, 100 Most Influential People in the World by The Times Magazine 2013, Member of the Order of the Federal Republic 2014, Female Entertainment Personality at City People Social Media Awards 2016, Best Actress at Toronto International Nollywood Film Festival 2017, Best Actress at Nollywood Travel Film Festival 2017, Most Influential Under People of African Descent at the United Nations by MIPAD 2018, Movie Icon of the Year at City Movie Awards 2018, and Best Actress in Movie Slash TV Series at African Magic Via Choice Awards 2018. 2018, among others. And apart from her acting career, she lent her time, voice, and resource in serving humanity. In the year 2005, she became a United Nations World Food Program ambassador and went on a mission to Sierra Leone and Liberia. Ambassador was also an Amnesty International campaigner into the year 2011 and has participated in campaigns in Sierra Leone and Niger, daughter of Nigeria. This award winning actress also joined one campaign's Poverty is Sexist campaign an initiative aimed at promoting the need for women empowerment across the continent. Omosala later launched her NGO project, Omosala Youth Empowerment Program, OYEP. OYEP has carried out numerous activities, including the empowerment work and convention for hundreds of Nigerian youths. Her NGO project, which continues to operate in members of Omosala's late mom, brings hundreds of youths together for empowerment works and conventions. We have come to the end of this episode where Nigerians ask if Omotala is on drugs and some say she's wicked, reacting to her trademarking her name Omotala, which is a popular Yoruba name. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.